Good morning. Welcome back to yet another section of informatics. We are going through the last module, sixth module, computer localization. There are seven main topics in this module, computer localization. Okay, uh, we are going through the sixth main topic, Malayalam keyboard layout issues and uh, standards. Uh, there we already identified uh, there are 73 basic characters uh, are required in a Malayalam keyboard in that vowels uh, 13 consonants 36 uh, anaswaram uh, visargam chandrakala total 3 then chill uh, total 5 consonant signs 4 vowel signs 12 uh, 12 okay then uh, after that, we discussed about uh, the differences between uh, in script layout and typewriter layout. I think all of you remembered well, we already discussed all these uh, points in detail in our last class. Uh, in the case of uh, the in script overlay, it can be used in, in, in any QWERTY keyboard and the keyboard is based on uh, phonetic layout. Consonants and vowels are given keystrokes and the consonant vowel combinations are formed by typing the consonant key followed by the vowel key. Similarly, congents uh, are formed by typing the constituent consonants with a chandrakala typed in between. All these things they already given here in your textbook page number 356 and 357 with uh, suitable pictures. So all of you please go through the pictures. Okay. So today we are going to start uh, the next uh, subtopic uh, in the um, main uh, topic uh, Malayalam uh, keyboard layout issues and uh, sta uh, standards. Okay, the next main heading is the inscript keyboard details. Page number 358, the inscript keyboard details. We can see that here the on screen keyboard shows the 35 normal consonants. Uh, which are the 35 normal con uh, consonants? Kakka ganga, ganga chacha janjana, um, then tatta dandana, tatta dandana, paffa bambama, ya ra la, va sha sha sa ha la ya ra. These are the 35 normal consonants. The vowels a uh, i e u u g a a i o o a u a e e u u g a a i o o a u a m a and the mark. So um, these are the vowels. Then there are also numbers and punctuation marks. So um, we are speaking about the inscript keyboard details. In that we can see that 35 uh, normal consonants and uh, you should have a clear idea about the vowels and also the mark. In addition uh, that we can see the numbers and uh, punctuation marks. Malayalam vowels and consonants are usually combined. So when you type a consonant and a vowel part, they will be joined into one character. Hmm? If you use the arrow keys to move through the texture, you only need to press an arrow key once to move past each character. If you press delete before um, a, com uh, a combined consonant and a vowel, it will be erased completely. But if you press backspace after a character, only the vowel part will be erased. That is the speciality. I think uh, uh, actually nowadays uh, we can we are using the uh, Malayalam uh, ty uh, type uh, Malayalam fonts uh, and uh, we can. Uh, download the app 
i think if you are very familiar with that how uh, we can write the malayalam words using our smartphone so we can see that when we are uh, press delete before a combined consonant and a vowel it will be erased completely but if you press backspace if you press backspace after a character only the vowel part will be erased so that is the difference between while we are using uh, the delete button and also the backspace is it clear when we press uh, when we press uh, delete uh, a combined consonant and vowel it will be erased completely hmm? but in the case of uh, backspace when we are pressing the backspace uh, definitely the vowel part will be erased that is the differences between delete button and the backspace i think all of you got the idea clearly uh, so here you don't forget that uh, keyboard uh, on screen keyboard shows 35 normal consonants uh, vowels and also uh, numbers and uh, punctuation marks uh, then i think all of you got the clear idea about the uh, differences between delete button and uh, backspace okay then we are going to speak about uh, uh, vowels and uh, consonants when you type consonants and vowel parts you should always type the consonant part first even when the vowel part appears on the left of the consonant if you type any of the independent vowels they will not be combined with the consonants all the consonants naturally include the vowel sound a so if you want to produce a consonant with no vowel you need to add uh, the mark you can do this by typing the d d right after typing a consonant is it clear so if you want to add a uh, chandrakala you should add you should write d uh, after typing a consonant after you have typed <coughs> the uh, uh, mark you can uh, cannot type a vowel to combine with that uh, consonant malayalam includes many combined consonants and these are not on the keyboard to type a combined consonant type the first consonant then the a uh, mark chandrakala uh, then uh, the second consonant uh, the computer will then combine the two consonants into a single uh, combined character for example when you are typing um, k d uh, k produces the combined consonant k k is it clear that means if you want to add the chandrakala the symbol chandrakala definitely after the consonant after the consonant you can add the letter d in english okay so you will get the chandrakala is it clear first uh, first uh, you type the consonant sound after that only you please write uh, you please press d d sound in english then you will uh, get k in malayalam i think all of you got the idea clearly in the following table you can see examples of how to type the different vowels with the consonant ka the key combination for all characters in malayalam is also summarized in the table that follows so here um, in page number 359 they already uh, given how we can uh, make the uh, combination of vowel and consonants okay so there is no doubt if you want to make any uh, vowel uh, consonant and vowel combination definitely you should uh, you should use the consonant sounds at first then only you can make the vowel uh, sounds okay for the example take the page number 359 we can see that uh, we are speaking about how to uh, make uh, the combination of uh, ka in malayalam okay example k we already identified it how we can make k uh, ka plus chandrakala k how 
yes we can at first we can press k sound in english after that we can press d sound in english so we will get k like that how we can make a sound ka uh, uh, in that uh, actually there is a sound so there is no need to add any other vowel sounds uh, we can just um, press k sound in english okay so we will get ka then how we can make a a sound in uh, malayalam so uh, you can write uh, you can press k sound in english and e sound in english so you will get a ka then like that ki you can uh, press k and f in the case of ki uh that means e sound you please press k and r then u sound uh, you can press k and j g k and g then u sound you can press uh, k and t then gr gr sound you can press k and equal to okay then uh, a sound you can press k after that you please press z then you will get a sound that means k sound then a when uh, what will you do you should uh, press k then you can uh, after that you can press s then you will get k sound in malayalam okay then in the case of kai uh, uh, if you want to uh, make kai in malayalam you should press k at first after that you should use w you should uh, press w then you will get kai in malayalam okay then uh, ko you uh, you press k and um, and apostrophe then you will get ko sound in malayalam then uh, ko sound if you want to get ko sound in malayalam you should press k and uh, a sound in english okay then cow uh, if you want to get the um, malayalam word uh, malayalam uh, alphabet cow uh, you should uh, press k and q so like that uh, they already given uh, here in your textbook they already given here a table with a malayalam and a english uh, combination um, how we can make the consonant and a vowel combination using the uh, sounds so the uh, uh, this table is very helpful for us to identify the sounds okay then Uh, below that we can also see the another uh, table they also given here how to make the different sounds okay so you just go through the page uh, number 359 okay so these are the main points um, under the sixth uh, main topic malayalam keyboard layout issues and uh, standards so you should have clear idea about uh, there are 73 basic characters which are the 73 basic characters and uh, uh, you should have a clear idea about uh, qwerty keyboard um, uh, the number of uh, keys uh, uh, how many keys for numerals uh, how many keys for uh, punctuation like that uh, you should have a clear idea about qwerty keyboard okay uh, it is in the page number 355 then after that uh, this uh, we can see that uh, it is um, the uh, merit of uh, this uh, keyboard then uh, these uh, the two keyboard standards available in malayalam i think all of you remembered well yes uh, typewriter layout and uh, the inscript layout so it is very important what are the differences between typewriter layout and uh, inscript layout mm. then uh, how we are using the inscript key, uh, keyboard layout it already given here with uh, the uh, explanation of picture 
after that uh, today we discussed what it is the inscript keyboard details so you should have a clear idea about there are 35 normal consonants vowels and the um, numbers and the punctuation marks and then i told you what is the difference uh, between backspace and uh, delete button okay then uh, uh, we spoke about uh, how to make uh, uh, the combination of vowel and uh, consonant sounds uh, you don't forget that uh, you should first press the consonant sound uh, after that only you should uh, press the vowel sound then uh, with the help of this table in page number 359 you will get a clear idea about how to make uh, uh, the combination of vowel and consonants in malayalam okay then uh, we are moving to the last topic malayalam software tools that it is the last topic in this module okay malayalam software tools technology development for indian languages its short form is tdil it's very important Uni uh, university uh, when we are examining the university question paper we can see that uh, they are asking uh, repeatedly uh, such short forms okay so it is very important what is the full form of tdil yes technology development for indian languages okay uh, indian languages program initiated by the department of information technology its short form is also very important dit what it is dit department of information technology uh, government uh, india has the objective to develop information processing tools to facilitate human mission interaction in indian languages and to develop technologies to access multilingual knowledge resources that was the main objective um, what is the objective to develop information processing tools to facilitate human machine interaction in indian languages and to develop technologies to access multilingual knowledge uh, resources that was the uh, objective of uh, DIT okay that is why they already initiated the program technology development for Indian uh, languages it's very important you should have a clear idea about the um, uh, short form and expanded form of TDIL and uh, DIT okay uh, then uh, department of um, information technology launched another major initiative called national roll out plan to aggregate the software tools and to make these available through a web based indian languages uh, data center then uh, we can see that uh, another um, initiative another uh, they also in, uh, launched uh, another major initiative it is called uh, national rollout plan it is called a uh, national rollout plan um, and uh, um, through this uh, national rollout plan to aggregate these software tools uh, and to make these available through a web -based based indian language data center uh, its short form is ilds so there is no need to repeat every time all the short forms are very important okay so under this user friendly software tools and fonts are being made available free for public through language series and web downloads for the benefit of masses so definitely uh, the public can use the benefit through the language series and web downloads okay the availability of these software tools fonts and resources in local languages at no cost is intended to motivate general public to use ICT tools uh, and technology in their day to day work like 
word processing, um, presentation preparation, spreadsheets preparation, web page surfing, and designing, messaging, etc. Underline that. What was their meaning? Actually, uh, they uh, um, they already uh, uh, make it available these software tools, fonts, and resources in local language at no cost. They have their own aim. What it is because they intended to motivate general public to use ICT tools and technology in their day-to-day -day work like uh, word processing, presentation preparation, spreadsheets preparation, web page surfing and designing, messaging, etc. Okay, then only uh, people can uh, use uh, all the um, languages, Indian languages. Then mes uh, in local uh, messaging, etc. In local uh, language, uh, lo local languages. Further, the consolidated availability of linguistic resources and tools uh, at one place will help researchers to carry out their research in a smooth and uh, efficient uh, manner. Uh, at the same time, uh, the consolidated availability of linguistic resources, it is also available and the uh, linguistic resources and uh, tools uh, at one place will help uh, researchers uh, to carry out their research in a smooth and uh, efficient uh, manner. Okay, so we are speaking about uh, TDIL project includes, I think all of you remembered well what it is TDIL. What it is TDIL? Yes, Technology Development for Indian Languages. So, we are going to speak about the TDIL project. So, we can see that here a list of uh, projects uh, under the TDIL. What are the projects? First one is localization of Linux. Mm? Then speech syn uh, synthesis system. Then multilingual uh, dictionaries, bilingual information technology terminology, uh, development of web-based learning systems in Indian languages, establishment of uh, a testing and evaluation facility for natural language software. Uh, operationalization of human aided machine translation systems for translation of news summaries from English to Hindi. Then integrated machine aided translation system from English to Hindi. Design and development of TDIL web server. The last one is design and development of online Hindi uh, Vishwakosha. So these are the uh, TDIL projects. So it is very important. Um, definitely you should study at least uh, uh, five or six projects. But at the same time, you should have a clear idea about all the projects. Maybe they will ask uh, any one of uh, the uh, projects from this list and who uh, uh, they will ask the questions relating that. Okay. So these are the uh, projects of TDIL. Huh? Okay. Uh, then uh, the following downloads are available for Malayalam users from the TDIL data centers. So in additional data, we can also download uh, these items from TDIL. It will be helpful for the Malayalam users. What are the things uh, it is available? Um, so we can here there is also another list of uh, list uh, which include uh, which includes uh, uh, a lot of um, uh, Malayalam uh, a lot of uh, technologies new technologies it is for Malayalam users. First one is Malayalam fonts. Um, in that Malayalam fonts uh, true type and open type. Then Malayalam true type fonts with keyboard drivers. Then multi font keyboard engine for 
ട്രൂ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഫോൺസ് മലയാളം യൂണിക്കോഡ് കംപ്ലിയൻറ്റ് കീബോർഡ് ഡ്രൈവർ ദെൻ ജനറിക് ഫോൺസ് കോഡ് ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റോറേജ് കൺവേർട്ടർ ദെൻ മലയാളം വേർഷൻ ഓഫ് ഭാരതീയ ഓപ്പൺ ഓഫീസ് മലയാളം സ്പെൽ ചെക്കർ മലയാളം ഡെക്കറേറ്റീവ് ഫോൺസ് ഡിസൈൻ ടൂൾ മലയാളം ടൈപ്പിംഗ് അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്പിംഗ് ട്യൂട്ടർ ഫോർ മലയാളം മലയാളം ടെക്സ്റ്റ് എഡിറ്റർ മലയാളം മൈക്രോസോഫ്റ്റ് വേർഡ് ടൂൾസ് മലയാളം മൈക്രോസോഫ്റ്റ് എക്സൽ ടൂൾസ് മലയാളം ഒ സി ആർ മലയാളം ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ടു സ്പീച്ച് സിസ്റ്റം മലയാളം ട്രാൻസ്ലിറ്ററേഷൻ ടൂൾ so when we are going through this list uh, uh, i think it is very helpful for malayalam users uh, from the tdl data uh, centers so all these are available they already given here uh, the link of um, tdl and with the help of that we can download and we can use these things uh, it will be very helpful uh, if you are um, a malayalam Uh, user okay besides these india government sponsored projects several software tools and services sponsored by the government of kerala is available through various websites maintained supported by the government two of such sites being the click uh, its full form is center for linguistic computing kerala mm? uh, it is very important Uh, university is asking the question uh, the full form of uh, click what it is the full form of click uh, center for linguistic computing kerala and uh, malayalam computing project uh, maintained by it mission and uh, akshaya and uh, supported by the government of kerala so click is very important i told you click uh, its full form is center for linguistic computing kerala okay and malayalam computing project maintained by it mission and akshaya and supported by the government of kerala uh, then uh, we are speaking about the uh, free downloads are available from click hmm? there are uh, three uh, free uh, downloads are available from click first one is nila nila then second one is k a v e r i kaveri then third one is malayalam unicode fonts first i want to speak about uh, nila nila okay nila is the first phase of the mission malayalam project it is the first phase of the malayalam uh, mission malayalam project it has a unicode 5.1 enable text editor supporting all available formats apart from the standard functions the editor has facilities uh, for regular functions like uh, formatting text uh, manipulation of tables malayalam email facility uh, printing options etc and also an exclusive function for uh, sorting both natively and uh, alphabetically nila supports in script phonetic and typewriter keyboards the uh, the conversion tool uh, embedded in the editor enables the user to convert a document from ascii to unicode hmm? uh, then um, nila also has a set of official templates letter wizard and official dictionary and a web linker these are the specialities of uh, nila nila hmm? so i told you first uh, first one is nila 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 is a official software 
which unicode malayalam fonts in script and phonetic keyboard drivers official malayalam dictionary malayalam email official communication template conversion from isc ii to unicode malayalam sorting if you want to add if you want to add more information relating nela if you want you can add it is the first phase of it is the first phase of mission malayalam project it is the first phase of Mal uh, mission malayalam project mission malayalam project it has a unicode 5.1 enabled text editor supporting all available formats it has a unicode 5.1 enabled text editor supporting all available formats apart from the standard functions the editor has facilities for regular functions like formatting text manipulation of tables malayalam email facility uh, printing options etc and also an exclusive function for sorting both natively and alphabetically i repeat the same uh, sentence because if you want to write down uh, i want to repeat it okay the same sentence apart from the standard functions the editor has facilities for regular functions like formatting text manipulation of tables malayalam email facility printing options etc and also an exclusive function for sorting both natively and alphabetically you can also add another point nila supports um, in script phonetic and typewriter keyboards nila supports in script phonetic and keyboard sorry typewriter keyboard typewriter keyboards i think all of you remembered well we already studied uh, in script uh, and typewriter keyboards in detail okay so nila supports uh, in, uh, in script phonetic and also uh, typewriter keyboards uh then uh, the conversion tool embedded in the uh, editor enables the user to convert a document from ascii to unicode it's already given here in your textbook uh, okay so these are the main points um, you should keep in your mind relating uh, the free downloads uh, are available uh, from click the first one is nila nila okay then we are moving to the second free download what it is k a v e r i kaveri kaveri free software hmm? kaveri uh, facilities text processing in major south indian languages giving special focus to malayalam actually uh, kaveri free software it facilitate uh, facilitates text processing in major south indian languages especially malayalam hmm? the following are the tools packaged with kaveri what are the package tool packaged uh, here they already given here the first one spell checker for malayalam it is available huh? then simple typing system for tamil malayalam kannada telugu and uh, hindi all these are available in kaveri then bilingual user interface transliteration system of major south indian languages english malayalam dictionary english malayalam translation aid unicode malayalam fonts and ethnic screen savers etc all these are available in kaveri hmm? so uh, we can uh, add additional points relating kaveri 
Kaveri is the second phase of the five uh, year research and development program Mission Malayalam. Hmm? I think all of you remembered well, which was the first uh, Mission uh, Malayalam project. Yes, Nila. Huh? So, definitely it is the second project of Mission Malayalam that it is Kaveri. Hmm? Then, uh, actually this uh, mission Malayalam for Malayalam language computing. Then Kaveri, which is the communication of Nila, has Malayalam's first spell checker facility. It is customized, localized and a modified version of open office organization. If you want, you can write down. It is, um, I'm sorry. It is customized, yes, it is customized, localized and modified version of open office organization. The complete interface has been changed to Malayalam so that any native user can use the software without any difficulty. So, when we are using the Kaveri uh, free download software, uh, it will be easy for the user. Okay, uh, the integrated Malayalam spell checker is the most notable feature of Kaveri. First one, huh? uh, it is the it is the most notable feature, which is the not uh, most notable feature. Yes, the integrated spell checker um, of Malayalam. Okay, so uh, the integrated Malayalam spell checker is the most uh, uh, most uh, notable feature of Kaveri. Like other uh, word processing systems, Kaveri will also underline misspelled words and give suggestions. Definitely, uh, that is the um, speciality of spell checker for Malayalam. Uh, in this uh, software also has the facility uh, to um, underline misspelled words and give suggestions. Okay, the translation assistant can perform English to Malayalam word by word translation which helps a user while preparing a document. I tell you there is an English Malayalam translation aid. Uh, so with the help of that uh, translation uh, assistant can perform English to Malayalam word by word translation which helps a user while preparing a document. Then I told you it already supports Tamil, Telugu, Kannada uh, and uh, uh, Hindi. Uh, so, um, I repeat, uh, my, uh, the multilingual keyboard of uh, Kaveri supports which are the languages? Yes, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Hindi and Malayalam in two keyboard layouts. Which are the keyboards you know? Uh, the inscript and uh, phonetic. So, uh, but I think if you remember well, in the case of Nila, it supports three three uh, keyboards, which are the yes, inscript, phonetic, and uh, typewriter. But in the case of Kaveri, it supports only two keyboards, uh, which are the yes, uh, the inscript and the phonetic keyboards. I think well, if you got the idea about uh, Kaveri, it is the second phase of uh, um, uh, the second phase of the five-year research and development program, Mission Malayalam for uh, Malayalam uh, language computing. Um, it, uh, Kaveri, which is the continuation of Nila, has Malayalam's first spell checker facility. That is the another important thing. It is customized localized and modified version of open office organization. The complete interface has been changed to Malayalam so that any native user can use the software without any difficulty. The integrated Malayalam spell checker is the most notable feature of Kaveri. Underline that point. Okay. It is not directly in your textbook. Then, uh, like the other word processing systems, Kaveri will also underline misspelled words and give suggestions. 
the translation assistant can uh, perform english to malayalam word by word translation which helps a user while preparing a document the multilingual keyboard of kaveri supports tamil telugu kannada hindi and malayalam in two keyboard layouts which are the layouts yes the inscript and the phonetic uh, keyboards so these are the main points relating kaveri then we are moving to the third one that it is malayalam unicode fonts malayalam computing project objectives are first uh, before uh, going to malayalam unicode fonts uh, we want to speak about the objectives of malayalam computing project what are the objectives uh, strengthen local language malayalam using the possibilities provided by information and uh, communication technology actually its main objective is uh, to uh, strengthen the local language especially malayalam uh, using the possibilities of ICT what it is the full form of ICT yes information and uh, communication uh, technologies ICT okay then the next objective is address the linguistic barrier which prevents the people of kerala from taking advantage of the new technologies definitely they want to remove the linguistic barrier and uh, all the people sh uh, start uh, all the people will start to use the modern uh, technologies that it is these two are their uh, objectives what are the objective first uh, strengthen the local language especially malayalam using the possibilities uh, provided by ICT the next one um, they want to remove the linguistic barrier and uh, they are encouraged the people uh, to use the new technologies these two are the objectives of malayalam computing project it is very important underline that page number 363 okay then we are speaking about the malayalam unicode fonts uh, this project will help the common man to get more benefits out of the various internet services like email chat blog etc it liberates him or her from the need of thinking in his or her mother tongue and communicating in a foreign language so actually this project will help uh, the common man to uh, get the benefits relating uh, email chat blog etc so uh, we have the tendency to think in our ma uh, mother tongue and uh, after that only uh, we should translate into the particular language so um, through this uh, project uh, and they will uh, help us uh, to write effectively write or speak effectively besides these governmental initiatives several individuals and other voluntary organizations maintain sites on the internet for promotion and support of malayalam computing actually all the uh, these uh, these softwares are uh, launched by the government in additional that we can see that uh, the private uh, agencies private organizations and also the individuals uh, they are um, they already supported and they uh, they already gave the promotion for uh, for malayalam computing starting from the localized version of the linux these sites provide a large collection of free software tools for download these tools include so uh, we can see that uh, um, such uh, private organizations and individuals they are providing uh, free software tools for malayalam computing what it is it's already given here in your textbook page number 6 uh, 363 uh, localized linux translation tools transliteration tools malayalam search engines malayalam dictionaries malayalam browsers malayalam fonts malayalam word processors malayalam text editors 
മലയാളം സ്പ്രെഡ് ഷീറ്റ് പ്രോഗ്രാം മലയാളം വിക്കീസ് മലയാളം കണ്ടന്റ് ക്രിയേഷൻ ടൂൾസ് മലയാളം ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പേഴ്സ് മലയാളം മൾട്ടിമീഡിയ ടൂൾസ് ആൻഡ് സോൺ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ സി ഹിയർ എ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രീ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ടൂൾസ് ആർ അവൈലബിൾ ടു റിമൂവ് യുവർ ലിംഗ്വിസ്റ്റിക് ബാരിയർ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഹെൽപ്പ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ ഓൾ മലയാളം യൂസേഴ്സ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഫ്രീ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ടൂൾസ് so i think all of you got the idea uh, clearly so uh, we completed the uh, seventh uh, module it is the last module so we completed uh, the sixth module okay so once again i'll just summarize all the important points relating the seventh topic malayalam software tools i repeat you should have a clear idea about all the short forms hmm? Uh, TDIL, then um, DIT, then ILDC, uh, ICT. ICT, here we already uh, told what it is IC, ICT, Information Technology, uh, Information and sorry, Information and uh, Communication Technologies. Uh, that it is ICT, Information and uh, Communication Technologies, ICT. Uh, then uh, we after that uh, we spoke about the tdil projects uh, there is a list of uh, projects uh, under tdil then um, uh, we spoke about uh, the free download to- tools under tdil then um, we started to speak about uh, click uh, hmm? i think all of you remembered well the full form of click what it is uh, center for linguistic computing uh, kerala hmm? uh then um, another one is uh, malayalam computing project uh, uh, these are maintained by it mission and uh, akshaya and supported by the government of kerala underline that uh, page number 362 okay after that uh, we started to speak about uh, uh, the free download uh, tools uh, under click uh, i think all of you remembered well first one is nila second one kaveri then third one malayalam unicode fonts so you should have a clear idea about all these three free downloads uh, hmm? under uh, click uh, they will uh, maybe university will ask it as a um, uh, sorry ask it as a paragraph question okay each hmm? otherwise they can also ask it as a essay question so uh, then uh, before starting malayalam unicode fonts uh, we already spoke about the objectives of malayalam computing project we already understood there are two objectives uh, strengthen local language malayalam using the possibilities provided by icit then a second objective address to the uh, address the local barrier which prevents the people of kerala from taking advantages of the new technologies then uh, it is very helpful uh, to um, you, uh, make email chat blog etc uh, it liberates the user the need of thinking in his uh, or her mother tongue and communicating it in foreign language so it is very helpful for all the malayalam users in additional that private organizations and individuals uh, they also uh, provided the free software tools we already understood it in detail page number 363 there are so many uh, such free software tools are available so uh, you can use all these things definitely through these things so you can uh, avoid the linguistic barrier okay so these are the main points uh, coming under the last main topic uh, malayalam software tools it is very important okay and then we can uh, discuss the question answers uh, in the uh, textbook uh, page number 365 uh, the numeronym for localization in is here we can see that there are four options uh, 110 uh, 111 uh, 19 and none of the above which is the correct answer yes 110 the new uh, numeronym for international internationalization 
is uh, what it is there are four options i l i uh, i l 7 n i l 9 uh, n i l 8 n none of the above so the answer is i uh, i'm sorry i 18 n okay i'm sorry i 18 uh, i 17 and i 19 and i 18 and none of the above uh, what is the correct answer i 18 and not l i 18 and i'm sorry then inti computing means uh, i tell you what it is the inti computing it computing is already given here in your textbook uh, it means like that already given here yes there are four options Uh, computing in india computing in malayalam computing in hindi computing in indian languages uh, which is the right answer yes computing in indian languages then fourth question which of the following is the international standard for character encoding character encoding there is no doubt it is it is unicode sir then how many characters can be encoded using a 16 bit coding system so already given here uh, there are four options so 65536 uh, okay a option a that it is the correct answer then i think all of you remembered well in measurement scale one point is is, is equal to one point have you remembered it is coming under the title font okay so uh, one point is equal to 1 by 72 of an inch correct answer is c then filling the blank questions the process of first enabling a product to be localized and then localizing it for different national audiences is sometimes known as dash what it is yes globalization so you please study it for uh, short answer maybe they will ask what it is uh, globalization so you should study this definition okay then like that uh, the second question dash is the process of adapting a product or service to a particular language culture and desired local look and feel i am very confident all of you remembered well from this uh, start uh, with the definition actually this uh, module uh, starts so i think all of you are uh, remembered well the answer what it is yes localization so um, you should study the definition for localization then uh, third question a dash is an extension that uh, changes the language of the user interface in an application i think all of you remembered well what it is yes language pack so um, you please study this definition also a language pack is a extension that changes the language of the user interface in an application okay then fourth question the exact shape by which the character is represented on screen and paper is called a dash what it is glyph then the acronym utf stands for i told you they are asking the full form utf i think all of you remembered well unicode transformation format unicode transformation format the file extension ttf stands for ttf yes true type font true type font the file extension otf stands for otf open type font dash is the standard malayalam keyboard layout which is yes in script keyboard in script keyboard then the full form of tdil what it is technology development for indian languages then ildc today we already studied all these things ildc indian language data center then click its full form is center for linguistic computing kerala okay so all of you please go through the textbook well okay thank you